Okay, so here we go. Today, I went online on the online configurator and built the most expensive GMC Sierra 1500 series truck that has ever been built in both Canadian and American pricing. And that is what we're going to talk about today. Okay, so first of all, if you are not already aware, there is a new refresh version of the 2022 GMC Sierra and Chevy Silverado truck, half-ton truck that is, on the horizon. What I mean by on the horizon is as early as potentially midway to the uh, midway through to the end of this month, we're going to start seeing the first of these trucks arrive. Now, you may be saying, Jeff, listen, I've been on a dealership a uh, lot and or been online and I've already seen 2022 GMC Sierra and Chevy Silverado trucks being sold. You are not incorrect by saying that. But here is the difference. We are currently selling on our lots when we can get them 2022 limited GMC Sierra and Chevy Silverado trucks, which are basically and essentially the same truck that we had last year. And they just just are serving as a holdover truck until we're able to get these new newer refresh trucks and when i'm talking about refresh what i mean is the fact that we have a newer more uh, newer cosmetic changed uh front end to both uh, both the sierras and the silverados you know different headlights different grill uh different bumper treatment fog light placement is different um so you know as far as the outside that's really the only change though and uh, the, the rear of the trucks the side of the trucks the the box the the length of it everything else is, is remaining uh, virtually the same the other bigger change and the biggest change pardon me comes in the inside which is something many of you have been asking for uh which is you know just more technology right so out going is our the largest screen that we had prior was an eight inch color touch screen and it's being replaced by a 13.4 inch massive color touch screen in the inside of these trucks which is made it to a new google uh, uh you know google automated system inside of that uh so it's being driven more so by google than you know general motors um uh own uh you know software hardware whatever you want to call it and then in front of the driver you're also going to see a full color digital display on the majority of the trucks that are coming out fully fully customizable or, you know, relatively customizable, I should say. And then another massive change is coming in the way you're shifting these trucks. If you get a bucket seat model, you are going to be get an electric console shift now, something we really basically have not seen in GMCs uh, or Chevy Silverados in my lifetime anyways. So you have a console shift down the middle, only in bucket seat models. If you end up getting a truck, mid trim level or lower truck that has the bench seat, you are going to get the uh, column shifter that we typically and always have had. And if that isn't enough, Two brand new models are being introduced. One of these is, is an off-road variant truck called the AT4X, which is just a more aggressive version of what we currently have in the AT4. Uh, it has a higher end suspension underneath. It's called Multimatic DSSV. It's got locking differential, amongst some other things. We're not going to get into all that today. Then we also have a step above the Denali. Now, this is the highest stream level ever offered in a GMC, and it is called the Denali Ultimate. And interestingly enough, that is definitely the one that I priced today. Now, mentioned in a prior video uh, about a week or two ago, I did talk about the fact that finally General Motors and at least Chevrolet I knew at the time was going to uh, uh, um, release their online build and price configurator on Thursday, March the 3rd. We're sitting here on Saturday. This was Thursday. Um, it has come to light that not only, of course, did we have the Chevrolet do that, but we had the GMC and we had it both in Canada in the United States where you can now go online and build and price your vehicle, which is, you know, something that has been a long time coming as far as I'm concerned. And so what I wanted to do, because by the way, there has been a slight price increase on these trucks, even since we first found out about them. I don't want to even get into that, but that's where we're at. Um, so what I wanted to do was take the time to build and price the most expensive truck that I know GMC has ever built in a half ton that you can actually order or at least build online and go to your dealer uh, and order. And that is the Denali Ultimate. So like you can do, I went on the both American and Canadian websites for GMC. And by the way, it's gmc.com, of course, for the United States. And it's gmccanada.ca for us Canadians. And what I essentially did was price out what I knew would be the most expensive truck, which was, the, of course, the Denali Ultimate, right? Now, the Denali Ultimate in Canada... Before we get into destination fees and all that kind of stuff and any of the features that I've added, uh, it started out at a price of $92,648 versus the United States starting price at $79,800. Um, we are seeing price increases in these, or have seen, uh, which I think are reflected, of course, in this. Now, all that being said, let me just quickly remind you, of course, at a starting price of $92,000 Canadian and, and uh, you know, uh, almost, almost $80,000 US, um, that is because this truck, of course, if you didn't already know this, comes with 
with a host of features standard. First and foremost, we got to talk about the Super Cruise, right? So it's a hands-free driving feature that also you can use while trailering. Obviously, this is not a cheap uh, system when we're talking about autonomous driving, so it comes standard with Super Cruise option on the regular Denali. It also comes standard with massaging heated cooled seats, um, uh, it, which is crazy in and of itself. It comes standard with the highest end Bose system that you could imagine in terms of a stereo system ins inside. Uh, magnetic ride control. Uh, it has a suede headliner in this thing. So, and I mean, the list goes on and on, just to, just to be clear, you know, a host of safety features, obviously. So we are just getting, you know, a base truck and then we built a little bit to it, which I'm doing today. This truck is already coming standard with a massive amount of features, which is, of course, reflected in the higher price. Now, what I did from there was I just basically built the truck in a way uh, of options that I could build on here that, that, you know, you as the consumer would, whether you went to the dealer or not. And first and foremost was the color, the most expensive color that I could get this truck in was, of course, the white frost tri-coat. Now, in Canadian dollars, that was a $1,195 option versus only $100 less, actually, in U.S. dollars at $1,095. The next option that I chose was uh, what they would call the cargo convenience package. And essentially, if you haven't seen this before, it's it's it com comprises two different things. First and foremost, one is the center console vault. It is an actual metal vault that goes down in your center console. It's pretty awesome. I've shared it before um, in a different video a couple years ago. Actual metal combination lock that you can put in there and store whatever, you know, wallet or whatever it is you want to do. Let your imagination run wild in regards to that. And then, of course, the rear under seat storage, which is the plastic kind of a bin uh, with the lid on it. So when you flip the seats up, you've got that storage. Past that, there's some other options I selected. First and foremost was the GMC uh, branded. Oh, by the way, that was $730 option. Sorry about that. And uh, Canadian uh, $535 option in the United States. Next option was the GMC branded brake upgrade system, which they call, which is essentially like a Brembo brake system. $5,080 Canadian versus uh, really a, a far less as far as I'm concerned, $2,995 uh, in US dollars uh the uh multi uh, multi pro tailgate step lights 258 dollars uh american or canadian pardon me and 210 dollars american engine block heater at 195 canadian uh versus 100 um, in american dollars past that i went to you know and of course you know a lot of us might want to get when we get into denali ultimate if you didn't already know this of course when you look at the side of a gmc there's those wheel um uh, wheel arch moldings, right, that are black. They're just like a textured black color. Well, you can get those color match to the truck. And of course, I think in that white truck, it would look pretty amazing. Um, and those are $890. Or body, they call them the body color wheel arch moldings. $890 Canadian um, versus $695 American. The hard folding tunnel cover at $1,365 Canadian versus $1,000, pardon me, $895 Oh, pardon me, sorry, $1,100 in US, $1,100, all right? I got ahead of myself because what I was talking about next was the Catback Performance Exhaust System uh, that I implemented on both of these trucks. In Canadian dollars, it was $2,370. In American, that's where I was talking about, the $1,895. Past that, I also decided, let's add those premium front um, front liners with the removable carpet insert, uh, $155 Canadian, $130 American. And then lastly, the auxiliary trailer camera, which comes in at $610 Canadian versus $595 uh, US. What does this all total up to finally, right? Well, we have to add our destination fees to this. And um, let's start with the American pricing first, shall we? So if we talk about the American pricing, as I mentioned off the top, um, you know, we were starting essentially at a baseline of $79,800. Once we add our destination fee, as well as all the options in there, destination fee being $1,695, we are now totaling out at $90,700 and $95 US for this Denali Ultimate. If we flip over to the Canadian side, um, again, starting out at essentially 92,648, again, destination fee, which is uh, $1,950. We also have a $100 uh, air conditioning charge up here in Canada, at least where I live in Ontario. Um, and that is coming in at uh, a total of 107,000 $516. Let me repeat that. $107,516 for a 1500 series loaded to the hill, though, half ton truck. Uh, I've never seen this before. In my nine year career, I've never seen 
a half ton truck priced out that much once you add all the features to it. Again, an amazing, amazing truck, but I mean, I very rarely see a half ton, uh, pardon me, a three quarter ton or, or one ton uh, price of that level. So here's the thing though, I have a question. How many of you out there are seriously considering getting a Denali Ultimate? Of course, you don't need to get all these extra things like the, you know, the brake system and all that kind of stuff, but I'm just curious as, what the percentage of you out there would actually consider getting in this type of truck or what do you even think of this pricing even if you're not? I'm very curious to hear. Uh, I'm gonna be doing some more of these uh, build price things i think we're going to talk about some at4 x's and maybe just build an elevation or a regular cab and so on uh, so if you have any requests i'd like to hear that below but listen as always thank you so much for watching take care everybody